Jedi Master Luke Skywalker is one of the most proficient and best lightsaber duelists that we have in Star Wars. At a very young age, he competed with his father, the legendary Sith Lord Darth Vader. And while it was evidently clear that in their engagements, Lord Vader had no desire of killing his son, instead wanting him to join him, it is impressive in Return of the Jedi that Luke is able to overcome his father, momentarily being embraced by the fury of the dark side and using it against him. In the following years, Luke Skywalker would become the pin of any lightsaber duelist. In canon, he defeated every single member of the Knights of Ren without killing a single one of them. He did this simply to prove a point calling himself the Blade of the Light Side. Just like his father before him, Luke Skywalker specialized in Form 5 lightsaber combat, the dueling variation of the form known as the Gem So. However, he was slightly quicker and more slender than Anakin Skywalker was. Luke would rather cut around his opponent when Anakin would cut through them. Over his years of dueling many exceptionally skilled Dark Jedi, and in Legends continuity other Sith Lords, Luke came to a surprising conclusion. That being that he believed that the Jedi were simply better fighters than the Sith. This also being the reason that Luke pointed to the fact that many Sith decided to focus more on their use of the Force rather than their skills in lightsaber combat. However, this this is still a hugely shocking statement, with Luke believing that if one used the dark side of the force, they were simply not as good or proficient of a lightsaber duelist as those that exclusively used the light side of the force, and his reasoning is very compelling, and something we'll discuss now. Luke Skywalker believed that one of his greatest assets when in the midst of a lightsaber duel was his composure and his calm mind, being able to adapt seamlessly between lightsaber forms and adapt with different opponents. Obi-Wan Kenobi would state something similar when he fought against the cybernetic monstrosity General Grievous. In Legends continuity, Grievous was an individual that had defeated nearly every single Jedi that he came against. However, Obi-Wan Kenobi stonewalled him with his use of Form 3 Sirisu, something that Grievous at the time did not believe possible, as he had the ability to strike several times with his lightsabers in several seconds. However, Obi-Wan Kenobi's blade was there to stonewall him and stop every offensive move every single time. This is because Obi-Wan Kenobi was completely centered in the Force, and gave himself fully over to the Force itself. In the novelization for Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan explains, that it is not him that is fighting Grievous, it is simply the Force itself, and that Kenobi is an object for the Force to pass through. This is one of the moments where Obi-Wan has become closest with the Force, fighting against one of the greatest duelists that that era had ever seen, because of the exclusive fact that he kept his mind completely calm, falling back on the techniques that he knew, but relying entirely on the Force to guide these techniques. This is what Luke also explains, saying that a Jedi that is able to master this is simply more powerful and more gifted than every single Sith Lord. And it is this calm mind, in complete control and composure, giving oneself over to the light side that allows a Jedi to defeat a Sith Lord in combat. In strike contrast to this, Sith Lords such as Maul and Dooku had opposite opinions than that of Luke, believing that when they used the dark side to bolster their own emotions and the fury and passion that they held with their blades, that they were able to overcome any Jedi that relied so solely on a calm, composed nature. One of the main goals and tactics of the Sith Lords, especially a Sith Lord such as Darth Vader, was to break the composure of a Jedi. This was also a technique that General Grievous implemented, and when Jedi, normal Jedi that is, came into conflict with individuals such as Vader and Grievous, who attacked so ferociously, so quickly, and nearly immediately in the heat of a lightsaber duel, most Jedi's composure and calmness, giving themselves over to the light side of the Force, shattered nearly instantaneously. This is why these Sith had such success against other Jedi, because as both Luke and Obi-Wan Kenobi stated, this was the most important aspect of a lightsaber duel when concerning a light side wielder. And I would venture a guess that many of the lightsaber duel's outcomes would have changed in Star Wars if simply a Jedi Knight was more calm and more secure in the light side of the Force. But this is why individuals like Grievous and Vader were able to take out Jedi by the dozens. They 
were able to break the Jedi's concentration and oneness with the Force nearly instantaneously. If you think about it, the war against a Sith and a Jedi's composure is even more important than the two's blades clashing, and what is going on on the surface of a physical lightsaber duel. It is the mental battlefield that is far more influential on the outcome of the duel, and this is why someone like Vader was so successful and such a great and ferocious Sith Lord. He attacked all of his enemies on the mental battlefield as well, attempting to penetrate his opponent's mind and fill it with extreme anxiety. Once the Jedi experienced this terror and anxiety, their lightsaber forms were a shadow of their former selves. Luke, though, believed that if a Jedi could maintain this state, that they could defeat nearly every single Sith Lord that they came into conflict with, and that the most important part of a lightsaber duel, despite being more skilled than an opponent, quicker, or perhaps even stronger, was to maintain this state of focus and concentration. We see this all the time in the real world, in fact. An individual in a boxing match that is more composed, despite maybe being a little slower, or not quite as powerful as a striker, will be able to overcome their opponent that is filled with unrest, because their opponent will make a mistake and will not perform to the best of their ability. Composure being one of the most important things in any sport, and clearly in Star Wars, except exceptionally important as well. So important, in fact, that Luke believed that if a Jedi were composed, they were simply a better duelist all around because they remembered their forms and techniques better than any Sith Lord, who Luke stated if it was muddled with the dark side of the Force and anger and emotions such as fury and vengeance, it would cloud what a Sith Lord had learned and developed in their training, and therefore give a Jedi an inherent advantage over them. It would also get away of this devastating edge that both Vader and individuals like Grievous use. But I have a feeling that this video will be a little bit divisive among you guys. What are your thoughts on this, and who do you think is appropriate here? Do you think that Luke Skywalker is correct about a Sith Lord and a Jedi simply being a better duelist when they remain calm? Or do you side with the Sith? who believe that fueling their blade with emotions such as vengeance and passion is more advantageous in a lightsaber duel? And has Grandmaster Luke Skywalker overstepped his own abilities and the abilities of his entire order? As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching the video. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.